My name is Jim Thomas, and welcome to the Fitness Management Update. Our topic today are the three types of gym salespeople. Type number one is what we would refer to as the poor performer. And the poor performer, I mean, everybody knows who these people are. You know, they're not getting the job done. You know, everybody knows it. You know, they're making excuses. They're, they're critical of the company and the people they work with. Uh, they show up late. Um, and when it comes to sales and, and that, uh, they have low levels of action, low levels of activity. They're not making near the contacts. They're not doing near the prospecting, picking up the leads. And certainly, you know, they're not hitting their numbers. The second group and the second type of salespeople that we see are what we would call the average to good performers. Now, the, the issue with these folks is, the, is they think they're doing the job, okay? But what they're doing is they're comparing themselves to the poor performers. And so it's going to make them look better than perhaps what they are. But that average to good performer, I mean, there's nothing spectacular. You know, there's not necessarily extra effort, uh, extra time spent. They're not necessarily getting there early. You know, they're, they're average and they're doing a, a good job. But again, the issue for these folks is they're comparing themselves to the wrong group of folks. They're comparing themselves to those poor performers. Now, the next group is what we would call the over performers. These are the ones you want. You know, if you're a gym owner or manager, this is what you want in your club. And if you're in sales yourself, this is where you want to be. And that overperformer, there, there's no excuses. Okay, they're 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 taking massive, determined action to get the results. High levels of accountability. If it is to be, it's up to me. Is is the the mantra of these folks? They make more calls than anybody else. They make more contacts than anybody else. Um, they're the, the first ones there. They're the last ones to leave. They'll come in and work extra. You know, these folks, they get the production, okay? They get the production done month in, month out. They find solutions. And these are the folks that have, you know, a very bright future. These are your future managers, your future operators, your future owners, uh, these people that get things done. Now, here's the really good news about all this is that anybody, whether you're just average or good, whether you're a perfor poor performer, anyone can be an overperformer. Because in the things we talk about here that identify that overperformer, all that is is a choice to do it. And where it starts, it starts with that positive attitude, that winning attitude, that no excuse mindset. My name is Jim Thomas, and this has been the Fitness Management Update.